Well, guys, my original video plan did not work out. So, of course, we're just going to talk about the Super Bowl today. We're going to give our predictions for the Super Bowl. I tried to record the Madden game. I'm not going to spoil who I picked, but I tried to record the Madden game. It did not work out. Madden kind of was down a little bit. So, that being said, we're just going to talk about the game for a little bit. We're going to talk about what I like, what offense, what what teams need to do to win this game as well as go over the point spread and stuff like that. So if you guys are new to the channel, of course, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this day on this channel every single day. Real quickly, shout out to Kinsley Fausten. He is obviously the Auburn commit that we're going to be interviewing soon. But we are also, or he, it is his birthday today. So happy birthday to him. I were or I wished him a happy birthday. If you guys did not get, go follow the Instagram page, happy birthday to Kinsley Fauston. But it's game day. More importantly, it is even more game day for the Auburn Tigers men's basketball team as they are taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide in this matchup tonight. It's in Neville Arena. We're about a five and a half point favorite. I would love to go to this game, but we're not going to this game. I think I'm going to the Auburn-South Carolina game, though, next week. So stay tuned for that as well for special co coverage of the Auburn Tigers basketball game. If we will be going, I will have an announcement coming Tuesday as well. But regards to the rest of this week and next week, tomorrow you're getting uh, conference championship predictions. Um, then Friday you'll have Franchise Friday. Monday we're doing an interview with Cole McConathy. We're going to go ahead and get that done for you guys. And then Tuesday, hopefully, will be our Kinsley Faustin interview. And then Wednesday, maybe we'll do the interview with Noah. Thursday, we may take a break from picks and have a vlog out for the Auburn game if we go. If not, then we will have picks. And then Friday, of course, is the Arizona Cardinals rebuild franchise. So that's the outlook for next week and this week as well. Maybe going to an Alabama game as well. So we may have another vlog for that coming toward the channel. However, though, let's go ahead, hop in to the Super Bowl predictions as I reveal my Super Bowl winner. All right, well, of course, it is time for the Super Bowl prediction. The 49ers are the away team in this one. No computer needed for this week. There's one game, one game only. The 49ers, a one-and-a-half-point favorite against the Kansas City Chiefs on the road in Las Vegas, but the Chiefs are the home team in this game. So, therefore, I'm going with the San Francisco 49ers in this game. I think this is going to be one of the flat-out better games that Super Bowl history in recent years has shown. I think that Brock Purdy, though, is, down, is going to get this win. Number one, I do not want Taylor Swift and the Swifties to have a Super Bowl win. I don't think anybody who cares about the, foot, the state of football in general wants Taylor Swift and the Chiefs to get this victory. I think that a lot of people are not going to or are going to be rooting for the San Francisco 49ers. If you care about the state of football, you're you are rooting for the San Francisco 49ers and Brock Purdy to get this win. Now that being said, I know there's been a lot of jokes about Anna Fry and Brock Purdy and Christian McCaffrey all saving us from a Taylor Swift Super Bowl. I think do I think it will be a close game? Yes, I think it will be one of the better ones in recent memory that we have had. But I've got the Chiefs here in a close one. This is going to be a flat-out thriller of a game. And over, I think it may potentially come down to the wire and potentially go into overtime. But I think in the end, the, Bro the 49ers with Brock Purdy, with Christian McCaffrey, with Debo Samuel, with Brandon Ayuk, Nick Bosa on that roster... Uh, Chase Young that they just added, Fred Warner on that roster as well. They have what it takes, and they have the majority of the talent-wise in this game. So with that being said, all the 49ers have to do is play their brand of football, and I think they'll get the win. Now, what the Chiefs need to do, I need to see the Chiefs' defense step up. They really have been lacking all playoff season for the most part up until this point. Now, that being said, the Chiefs obviously need Patrick Mahomes and the offense to survive, of course. But for me, it's more about the defense for the Kansas City Chiefs. We know that Patrick Mahomes is going to be able to make some plays. We know that Travis Kelsey is going to get involved. We know that Rasheed Rice is a really big playmaker in this game. Or at least he's been a big playmaker in the postseason, really, as well as when he's starting to thrive a little bit. But that being said... How is the defense going to hold up? Because, again, the defense, honestly, is what is keeping 
these two these teams that they've been playing in this game. It's what kept the Miami Dolphins in this game for the most part in the wild card game. The Bills game, of course, they let up more points and that was an even more closer game. And then of course the AFC Championship game, kind of iffy, but that was mostly on the Ravens offensive side. They had the chance to at least go down and score. But the defense for the Kansas City Chiefs needs to be picked up if they're going to win the Super Bowl. That is why I have the San Francisco 49ers winning this game. Number one, again, all of those players who I just listed on that 49er, excuse me, 49ers roster have what it takes. They just got to play their brand of football and not be nervous as take it like a, num a normal game that they're going for as well. We saw this last year. I think they got more experience last year. Again, that shows why they made it to the uh, Super Bowl this year and not losing the conference championship to the Philadelphia Eagles. I think that they got a lot better and experienced in the playoffs. It's just a matter of that. So, with that being said, and I'm going to end this video right here. It's going to be a very short video today. But the 49ers, what they need to do is play their brand of football. And I think that they will absolutely beat the Kansas City Chiefs. For the Chiefs, the defense, they have to step up. But I've got the 49ers in this one. It's going to be a close game. I think it will be more majority of a defensive game. I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's going to be in the low scores for the most part. Expect that. But... Expect the San Francisco 49ers defense to prevail as they will get the win against the Kansas City Chiefs. Anyway, of course, that is going to be all for today's video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. Like I said, tomorrow you're getting SEC basketball predictions. Friday, you're going to have a franchise Friday. Monday, we'll do interviews. Cole McConaughey on Monday, Kinsley Fauston on Tuesday. And then, of course, Noah from Bama Insider and Recruiting to talk about Ryan Williams signing today as well. By the way, did not mention that in the prologue, but he officially has signed with Alabama if you guys did not see that. So, congratulations, Ryan. Well-deserved. I am not mad at him for picking Auburn like I know a lot of Auburn fans are. I think he made the right choice. I think Alabama is going to develop him well. I think he automatically wanted to go to Alabama, but for now... Congratulations to Ryan Williams as he has signed with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Really quickly, like I said, though, in the prologue, today's game day for the Tigers as we're taking on Bama. Hopefully going to win that game. But one more thing I want to mention before I let you go. Did not talk about this in the prologue. Jose Altuve signing a five-year contract with the Houston Astros. That is insane. He is an Astro for life. Be going to watch him play over the summer. I cannot wait to do this. And I cannot wait to see Jose Altuve live up and in person in Houston. So, with that being said, I'm going to hop off, get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Thank you all so much for watching. And tomorrow, we will be back with Conference Championship Picks. Peace.